In this video, I'll demonstrate Metplum's starter pack for care navigation. Care management is a complicated operational function, and one of the most important parts is task management. However, within the context of digital health, we face a few key challenges when it comes to managing clinical tasks. One is to make sure we're efficient with our resources by making sure that everyone is operating at the top of their license. Two, digital health companies can operate in all 50 states, and we want to make sure we're matching physicians to the right patients in a compliant way. And lastly, we want to reduce the administrative burden on all of our clinicians by automating task creation and routing. In this demo, we will demonstrate a simple task management application built on top of Medplum that can serve as your starter pack when building your own task management solution. This application is Fire Native, which means all the data that we're storing is in the standards compliant Fire Data model without any auxiliary data structures. Medplum is also an official certified EHR and is highly interoperable, which means we can connect other systems such as PACs and LIMS to seed and route these tasks. In this demo, we'll show how you can filter tasks by geography based on physician license and how you can filter by certification to make sure everyone is working at the top of their license. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to use Medplum bots for automatic task creation and routing to the appropriate handler. I'll be showing two different applications on my screen. First is the task management demo, which again is an open source application that will serve as a starter pack for building your own care navigation workflow. The second is the Medplum app, which is our developer console meant for administrative operations and IT people. First, I'll demonstrate the basic task lifecycle. So here I've loaded up the Medplum starter pack. And the first thing I'll do is add some example data. So I'll click here, upload example tasks. And if I refresh, you'll see that I have a bunch of tasks created here, some of which are live and some of which have been completed. For each task, we can see the type of task that it is, the beneficiary or the patient of this task, the priority and due date, as well as the types of performers that could perform this task. So if I click on one task, you can see I have a number of options available to me, as well as the patient information on the left-hand side of the screen. I can add a note, and this will show up on our history of notes. I can sign the task to someone else or claim it for myself. I can also pause the task and complete the task. In addition to the standard completion statuses, I can also assign a business status to the task to map the lifecycle to my company's custom operational workflow. These statuses are powered by a fire value set and are easily customized as I'll show in a moment. So now I've switched over to the Medplum app, which is our IT administrative console. And I filled up the value set that powered these different stages. To add a new one, I can simply edit this value set and add a new stage. After making this change, I can switch back over to our task management starter pack. And if I look at the business statuses now, we'll see that the new tr needs triage status has been added. Next, I'll show you how you can filter tasks by the user certification to ensure top of license care. So for my next step, I'll annotate my current user to have the role of doctor. So I'll upload an example certification. And you'll see a few changes have occurred. One, my profile now has the MD suffix associated with me because I've marked myself as a doctor. And more importantly, you'll see I have a new filter on the left-hand side for all those tasks that have yet to be completed and can be performed by a doctor. So I'll click on this. And now I have a nicely filtered view to only those tasks that doctors need to perform. Switching back to the Medplum console, we can see that a new practitioner role has been created, and this is what marks my current user as a doctor. You can see our documentation for more information on how to model practitioner certifications. 
Next, I'll show you how you can allocate tasks by the patient's home state to ensure compliant 50 state coverage. So in our example app, I'm going to go ahead and upload some example state licenses for my user. And you'll notice I have three new filters on the left-hand side. This is because I've modeled my user as having licenses in three states, New York, California, and Texas. If I click on each one of these, I can see the open tasks for patients in each of those states. This is another way of improving efficiency and compliance by making sure that the current user is only operating on patients in the states for which they have licenses. Switching back to the MedPlum developer console, we can see that if we look at my user's profile, that we've added three new state licenses, one for New York, California, and Texas. For more information on how to model state licensure in FHIR, please visit our documentation. Lastly, I'll show how you can use MedPlum bots to add automation for routine workflows and reduce burnout. So I'll go ahead and upload the example bots that ship with this starter pack. These bots automate task creation by automatically triggering new tasks based on clinical data. One of the bots creates a new task every time a diagnostic report is added to the system. To demonstrate that, we'll click Upload Example Report to upload a new diagnostic report. And then if we hit Refresh, we'll see we have a new task for Benny Hill. And a task has already been created for some doctor to please review this report. We can click on it. We'll see the patient profile on the left-hand side. We can also have a deep link directly to the report that needs to be reviewed. Going back to the MedPlum developer console, we can look behind the scenes at what just happened. We can search for the bot resource, and we'll see that we have a new create review report task. This is a bot that will listen for new diagnostic reports being added to the system, create a new task, and assign it to the appropriate role to be actioned. This is code that is written in TypeScript and which can be modified according to your own business logic. In this video, we demonstrated MedPlum Starter Pack for comprehensive care navigation via task queues. This uses the FHIR task model to build shared clinical task queues that are segmented both by certification and by geography to ensure top of license care across all 50 states. We also showed how you can write MedPlum bots to automatically create tasks and route them to the appropriate role and geography to be actioned. This entire demo is open source and you can find it in the MedPlum GitHub account. Thank you for watching and we hope we found this useful.